what up everybody it's your boy this my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video before we get started please hit that thumbs up comment subscribe share please hit the notification on the front of my youtube page so you know when all my videos drop this is episode three of my last seven kicks i'm gonna try to keep it going man the people are vibing to it i'm loving it so let's get right into it First and foremost, we have what I wore on Sunday, which wasn't anything crazy. It was just my good old trusty Adidas slides. Not much to say about these. I've had these for a while now, but they're my go-to. So I wore these on Sunday. My whole theme, I decided to do a theme this week. So I did all black kicks. So all of these kicks will be black or predominantly black. And for Monday, I wore the Nike Air Jordan 1. Now this, this colorway is obviously not an OG, but it's a very dope shoe and it was sitting for a while. I got it under retail when it came out, I believe 2014. That gum bottom, all black. The leather's pretty nice on this. And then it has almost like a cracked effect to it, even though it's hard to see. But these are super dope on feet. You can rock them with anything. You can beat them up. And as we all know, Jordan 1s look better with age. So I wore these bad boys on Monday. Tuesday, your boy wore the Jordan 12 Masters. Yes, I had to bust these out. If anybody uh, didn't catch it, I'll leave a link up here for the, uh, my story. Big shout out again to Jedi Souls for looking out for me for these months after the original uh, release for retail. I couldn't be happier, man. Big ups to him for this. But yeah, these are fire. All black shoe. Leather isn't as good as on the, the French blues, but nonetheless, these are still dope. And who wouldn't be happy to have these in their collection? I sure am. On Wednesday, your boy busted out the Jordan 8 Aquas, boy. Flames. This is the 2015 release. Absolutely love this shoe. Love the added speckling on the mid midsole. Now, my favorite Jordan 8, however, are the playoffs. Something about that tongue and that inner, it just does something for me. The Jordan 8 playoffs are my favorite. But these are flames as well. These are truer to the OG than the previous release, which I believe came out in 2007, I think. Don't quote me on that. But these are straight flames. Absolutely love this shoe. This is what I rocked on Wednesday, people. On to Thursday. Thursday, your boy had to bust out another pair of my favorite runner brand. We had the Saucony Cruel Worlds. I think these are the 5500 for this, but this again is another bait collab. I'm telling you, I was winning. Now, unfortunately, I did not strike it on the Kung Fu Panda um, Diadora collab that bait is doing, where they're doing six sneakers for six DreamWorks movies. I was really hoping to cop those, even though they were mad expensive. I think like 300 bucks for them, but those were sick. I'll leave a picture if you guys wanted to see it. But yeah, this one is dope. This entire area is 3M. The back here is 3M. You have that gum bottom uh, materials. I mean, there's no special materials. It's all mesh and vinyl, but it looks real sick on feet. And again, it's part of their Cruel World Initiative where they help to bring clean water to uh, countries, third world countries. So I always love the fact that they support it. Yeah, these are sick. This is what I wore on Thursday. On Friday, everybody knows this is my favorite Nike basketball sneaker silhouette ever. And these are the Air Foam Posit Ones. I got the stealth colorway here, all black. Nothing crazy about them. Look at my neighbor. He's wondering, like, what the hell am I doing over here holding sneakers on the camera? Yeah, man, sneakers is life. Sneakers is life. But anyway, back to the shoe. Super dope. Um, got these off eBay for 280. At the time that I got this, I was seeing prices as high as 400 for the Stealth. Um, some even as high as 500. And this was only worn one time at the time. So a huge deal to get it for 280, which is pretty much retail plus tax almost. Super, super, super dope. Wore these bad boys on Friday. I wear these a lot. And as we all know, that's one reason I love my foams. They never seem to get messed up. No matter how many years you have them, they still look DS. They still look fresh on feet. And in the weather here in New York, it is perfect. All right, Saturday, it was all about comfort. So your boy busted out the 
Adidas NMD Boost R1 Prime Knits. Man, whew. I actually got these off of Adidas. I somehow was able to strike it, strike it hot on adidas.com when these dropped. Super, super comfortable. Now, um, I will do a comparison vid, so stay tuned for that between all the boosts that I have, the different models that I have, but I love this shoe. But anyway, folks, thanks again for tuning in. Stay tuned next week for episode four. And I want to send a special shout out to a very special young lady. And I'm going to do it the way we agreed to, so nobody else will get this but me and her. All right, that's it. But anyway, folks, with that being said, it's your boy, this my sneakerhead, and a brother is out.